Best effects of the Venom had already started. And this is the Puff Adder, an iconic African adder, which is known to be one of the largest adders in the, in the continent, often known to strike fear into many people with its extremely good camouflage. It blends into its environment, its fast strike. And these snakes occur from the southernmost tip of Africa, throughout most of Africa, right up into the Arabian Peninsula, up into around Morocco, where they avoid the true desert often found in grasslands, montane grasslands, savannas, and coastal forests, and right down into the coastal fainbos in the Cape. These snakes are well known for their ambush tactics, and as you can see here, the snake is perfectly camouflaged and well adapted to sit for hours on end until a prey victim gets just too close. And here we can see just how well the puff header is a master of its own camouflage. Often when you approach a puff adder, they will turn around and try to flee as quick as possible, avoiding confrontation. They don't move in a typical serpentine motion like most snakes, but instead in a caterpillar type motion, almost walking on their ribs in a straight line. If you're not looking close enough, you might just miss it. It's incredible how puff adders have the adaptability to blend into the environment among small bushes, making themselves almost invisible. Puffetters occur in an array of colors, ranging from yellow, light brown, sandy browns, gray, or even exquisite high contrasting black and yellow. The dorsal has several chevrons, alternating in light and dark, which extend from the back of the head, along the body, onto the tip of the tail. Like all adders and vipers, the puffetter has a large, broad head that houses enormous fangs with large venom glands which enable these snakes to have some of the largest fangs in Africa, which of course enable them to give massive loads of a highly toxic cytotoxic venom. One of the snakes you really do not want to be bitten by. The bites are extremely painful as the cytotoxin destroys your tissue, causing immense pain and swelling in the limbs. Here we can see a droplet of venom just extending out of the fang. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh. And just like that, he had gotten too close. A small puff header had struck, landing a single fang into my friend's thumb. And now came the difficult decision of rushing to the hospital and seeing if they had the life-saving antivenom. He was fortunate. They had multiple vials of the polyvalent antivenom, which they were able to administer. But the adverse effects of the venom had already started to take hold. And several days later turned into several weeks. The venom and its destructive powers getting progressively worse on his thumb. After several surgeries of removing damaged flesh and tissue, skin grafts were applied to try salvage what was left of his thumb. Fast forward 18 months later, after several physiotherapy sessions, plastic surgeries and mobility training, the thumb has started to regain some of its mobility. Will it ever be the same? It's really unlikely that he'll ever gain full mobility of the thumb. Although he was lucky he was able to get to a hospital within 20 minutes of his bite and receive antivenom. So he is definitely one of the lucky ones. The puffetter is a snake that commands respect. They're extremely common, highly venomous, and occur in just about every biome across Africa. And all it takes is to get a few centimeters too close, a slight lapse in concentration while you're dealing with one of these snakes, and you can find yourself in an extremely uncomfortable situation, which will lead to hospitalization and could even lead to death.